My name is Chris. I'm a Malaysian Chinese. I have married with one children. My, my daughter is three years old and uh, I'm 34 these years. Uh, recently, I have a uh, diagnosed with cervical cancer. To be honest, I'm very reluctant to go for the normal, regular pap smear test because I feel a bit like uh, uncomfortable and I feel a bit shy. The obstacles are quite well known with a conventional pap smear and particularly in a developing country. It is time and the convenience for someone to take time out to go to a clinic when they are well for a screening test. People don't like doing that, particularly in the uh, working class when they're very busy. We don't have an organised screening programme whereby women get letters of invitation and so it's really up to their own initiative. So particularly if the literacy, health literacy is low, they won't see a need to do regular screening. So health literacy, the time factor, and I think most importantly is the fear or the perception of pain and embarrassment when they have a very private test. So I, I don't go for it, yeah, I don't, I don't go for it until I face some issue like uh, bleeding after sex. So I am worried and after that I went for some uh, doctor checkup um, and uh, found out that I have cancer. Yeah, uh, on last year, June, and uh, the stage is 1P2, but currently the cancer have uh, relapsed and it considers stage 3 or 4. Yeah. Screening in Asia for cervical cancer is available and yet we still see a high burden of advanced uh, diseases. When women get diagnosed with cervical cancer here, most often it's um, stage 3 or stage 4 cervical cancer. So in terms of clinical outcomes, they don't do as well as they should if they have been diagnosed earlier. But when we look at patient-related outcomes, you know, like uh, what is relevant to patients, they don't do well financially and their quality of life tends to be poor. And a lot of our women at the end of even one year, usually at one year they kind of finish, uh, after diagnosis, they kind of finish active treatment. But a lot of them are still anxious, depressed. The most challenging part is the doctor that we choose, the medication that we choose, and of course, uh, financially, yeah. Because uh, medication fees is um, quite an impact to our family, uh, financially, and uh, our lifestyle also impact, um, uh, my career impact, uh, I, I couldn't work during my treatment and uh, I, I also impacted my husband's life because my husband couldn't work fully. A cancer diagnosis can lead to catastrophic expenditures and financially crippled families. And we define financial catastrophe as a family which has spent more than 30% of its annual household income for cancer-related care. And we found that after a year of diagnosis, one in two patients surviving cancer were affected financially, where the, the family had spent catastrophically. I have my insurance, but uh, somehow uh, I didn't review my insurance, so it become insufficient to support me. Yeah, but lucky that uh, I, I'm, I'm under employment, uh, my company insurance to uh, support me. Yeah, so I feel grateful. Yeah. At the regional level, which is Southeast Asia, as well as at the level in Malaysia, our study showed that people who own some form of insurance are protected from making catastrophic payments better than a person who does not have any insurance. And uh, generally, it's private 
insurance as well as employer provided insurance. I strongly suggest the women and ladies now and the girls now in the world to do the regular pet meal because uh, this sickness can be prevented and uh, I don't wish to see any women and girls in this world to have this sickness again because this is really suffering uh, and uh, it's like um, no ending uh, treatments for me so I don't wish them to experience what I have experienced yeah. These coming treatments will have another five cycles. So now I still with my hair, but soon it will drop or but I um, I just feel that uh, if there is a chance for me, I will keep on fighting. Yeah. I will just keep on fighting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>